you thought World War II was gonna go quietly into that good night, well, it seems like you would be 100% wrong, because today, we ended up getting an update from Sledgehammer, the first one actually on their actual blog in over a month, the first one since August 10th, in which, of course, we ended up getting our weekly recap, some things talking about the week, and then the week up ahead as well, as we round into the final days of World War II before Black Ops 4 becomes available. Whether or not you actually wanna take advantage of that, it's totally up to you, but Sledgehammer's still doing a good job at trying to keep us as busy as possible, and for those of you guys that may not be necessarily interested in Black Ops 4, it seems like we might have a little bit of content going into even after that, overlapping when the two games are out together. So, regardless of what this may mean for the future, we do have some things on the near horizon that do look very promising. So, let's just jump right into it. We're gonna talk about the whole update and recap here. So, first things first, let's talk a little bit about DLC. DLC 4 is now available for everybody, Xbox One and PC included. This was available as of yesterday, Thursday, and now you have access to Shadow War, which gives you the maps Airship, Excavation and Chancellery, plus the new war map Operation Arcane, and the Zombies experience as well. All of this honestly was very enjoyable. I had a lot of fun with DLC 4. Granted, it hasn't been in my map rotation a lot since I've played as of the past month or so that has been out for PlayStation 4, but while it was active, it was a ton of fun. And that's something that again, as you take a look at it right now, we actually do have double XP, a triple double event for the Shadow War playlist within Call of Duty World War II. So this will give you double XP for your soldier, double division XP, and double weapon XP as well. And also, there's double XP on all war modes also. So if you're not really into playing the DLC maps just as their own playlist, you can still go in and play some of the classic war maps and you'll be able to take advantage of double XP still within all of that. You also end up having Nazi Zombies double XP as well. Again, little celebration here here this weekend for the DLC launch across the rest of the platforms, so it's available for everybody. And one other really cool thing included within this weekend warfare is the Blitzkrieg collections are now actually reopened within Call of Duty World War II. So if you guys remember all the way back to, I believe it was April or May is when this event happened, we ended up getting the Itra Burst, the Sterling, as well as the Baseball Bat out of this. So if you missed any of those collections, you now have the opportunity to get those once again for the armory credits you may need. And if you need some help getting a guarantee or something like that there is this weekend going on what looks to be a daily order so you can probably get up to three of them blitzkrieg bribes for completing 35 matches in multiplayer so that's something of course if you end up putting the time in you end up getting the bribe out of it but that should help if you end up needing that extra little push and if you end up going for that route i suggest if you want to go for any of the items in blitzkrieg buying the cheapest armory credit items so that you have the guarantee of getting one of the higher tier ones out of it and therefore it kind of just takes a little less risk out of whatever you want to get but that said, Blitzkrieg collections are back open here for a very limited time that might open the door up for the next couple of weeks, maybe say into air quote year two of World War II, we end up seeing Attack of the Undead and other events opening up once again within those collections for a limited time. So if you missed anything like that, you have the opportunity once again here with it. After that, just a little recap that this is also the Itra Burst contract on the Quartermaster this week. So if you want to go over to Corporal Green, you can end up getting this one for a little bit of a small challenge and also a little heftier fee with the armory credit price tag, but the Introverse is still, of course, a great weapon you can use, and while it was probably for the time being one of the better weapons, it's rather formidable now, not necessarily overpowered, but still, if you don't have a variant of it, definitely worth getting. So check that out, it's available until Tuesday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then after that, we got a little bit of information on the next weapon contract that will replace the Itra Burst on Tuesday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's gonna go for another week, this one actually being the most recent weapon contract we've ever seen within World War II thus far. And granted, yes, it is at the end of the life cycle, but hey, better late than never. We end up seeing the VMG 1927 LMG is going to be next week's weekly weapon contract. Now, probably around that 4,000 to 5,000 armory credit price tag, but you'll end up having that for whatever it is. And if you didn't capitalize on the Covert Storm event, you're definitely gonna wanna check this one out because it is a newer weapon and I don't want to say it's relatively unbalanced, but it can definitely shred. It has some mobility that is maybe say rivaling that of more mobile LMGs, maybe even more so teetering on the rifle classification. And the rate of fire is actually pretty solid. So the VMG is one you definitely want to pick up. And not only just because it is a newer weapon, but because it's actually pretty good as well. And that kind of leads me to believe that maybe next week after the VMG 1927, we end up having the Proto X1. And therefore we would have then had, I believe, the majority, if not all of the weapons already in the contracts outside of the events that are already active. 
And we're going to talk about that in just a second because that leads me into what we might see here coming on Tuesday once again. But the VMG 1927, get ready to spend your armory credits on that because it's definitely going to be worth it if you don't have a variance already. As for other things mentioned, we end up seeing we get the next midweek mobilization as well as the next weekend warfare. Now, the next midweek mobilization is going to be double XP on infected mode from Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time until Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific. And then also the next weekend warfare is double XP on horde points from 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Friday until 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Monday the 8th. Now, of course, that is teetering very, very close to the launch of Black Ops 4. One sort of last hurrah, potentially, for World War II, if you're one of those people that are going to go over to Black Ops 4. But this is really curious, because without the information that comes next, this just seems like they're just throwing modes back out into the wild. Except, it might not be. Because later on in this blog post, we end up seeing the caption of Trick or Treat with an image of the headquarters going back to sort of Attack of the Undead era, donning a bunch of Halloween themed material. We have the jack-o'-lanterns, we have what looks to be like the candy corn inside the massive cages, and in the bottom left of that image is the key art logo Halloween Scream. So if you were to ask me, this looks like a brand new event within World War II. Maybe once again, one final hurrah here for the main year of Call of Duty World War II's life cycle. But Halloween Scream, an October event, looks to start up rather soon. And while we don't have anything just yet associated with this in terms of information as to when this will come around, my guess is it's going to be starting on Tuesday. Don't hold my word for it, but that's just an educated guess here. And I say that simply because, well, it's the only logical time that we end up seeing this happen. I can't imagine that as many players would be interested in it if it launches after Black Ops 4. So therefore, that's kind of one tally against it and why I'd assume it would launch a little earlier to next. Next week's featured playlists are both zombies oriented. We have Horde Point as well as Infected, which the last time that we saw those both heavily pushed were in Attack of the Undead. Of course, we have them scattered here and there throughout, but that kind of comes back to the whole zombie theme. So two things there for me. And then also, if you take a look at the recent events, we've only had in the past couple of events, one week of downtime between each of them. So therefore, that's that third little mark and tally that leads me to believe that this is gonna start on Tuesday. So while we don't have anything to really indicate this from an official standpoint, it makes a lot of logical sense in my books that the final week of World War II as its main title will have a lot of stuff here for us to play around with. So what this probably will entail is, of course, a lot of new things in terms of content, new weapons, new uniforms, new camos, all that good stuff. And of course, seems like we'll be getting some of the game modes back as well. Horde Point, maybe the Tesla gun returning and all things considered. One thing, though, that I am really interested to see is if we'll end up seeing that weapon crafting coming to World War II at all, because that was something that was found in the game code right before the Covert Storm update, but never actually came to fruition. And if we want to get really in depth and put on our tinfoil hats here with this, I actually ended up tweeting Sledgehammer earlier in the day in which I asked if we were going to see anything here regarding this little awesome surprise they had for us as of today. And sure enough, we now do have it. But they tweeted me while talking in a conversation with a friend of mine, Travis or Thumper, and also Brian Miggles, who is the marketing communications director at Sledgehammer, talking about recipes. They said, what about ice cream recipes? We all scream in all caps for ice cream. Now, of course, the scream makes a lot more sense now that we see the Halloween scream event being officially teased here for this. But what about recipes? Crafting things? Is that a little bit too much of a stretch? I don't know. It might be, but I'm still very hopeful that we end up getting something like that because that was something that I think was a missed opportunity at the very end of Advanced Warfare for players that wanted to play after Black Ops 3 came out. I think if we have the opportunity to end up crafting our own weapon variants for armory credits, that would definitely elongate the amount of time that players that may not want to move on to Black Ops 4 put into World War 2. Who knows, maybe that's just something that is just off the wall, but definitely want to put it out there for some food for thought because right now we don't have all that much information. And as for what we can expect, Honestly, I'm not expecting a whole lot here over the weekend. If we're going to get this as of Tuesday, I think it's just going to drop on Tuesday. I think that as with the last couple events, we might get that trailer leading up to it and then an update for World War II on Tuesday, but I don't think we'll get really much detail outside of that until it actually happens. But definitely keep your eyes open here for this because we might be seeing another bleed over between zombies and multiplayer within Call of Duty World War II and 
I'm pretty excited for that. I know we don't have much time left on World War II, and I am incredibly excited to play Black Ops 4, but it's definitely gonna help pass the time instead of us just sitting here staring at our countdown timers for when Black Ops 4 will launch. So it's definitely gonna be awesome to have some stuff to pass the time with, and especially if you are a fan of World War II, to have a little more content left just stuffed into the very tail end of the life cycle. But one other thing also to mention before we wrap this up is that for those of you guys that are Zombies players, I know it might seem like a very late addition here with this, but they're working on some Master Prestige rewards for you guys, so if you haven't gotten something already out of it, you might get something here in the very near future for being Master Prestige. Again, might be a little too late for some people, but hey, again, they're still working on it and trying to give some content for people that may look to play a little further. But that said, I think that's where we're gonna wrap it up here at this one. Very quick little update here at this, but definitely some promising things here for the very tail end of the life cycle of World War II. And especially if we end up seeing this go until Halloween, it's gonna be interesting to see just how many players get rewarded here for sticking around on the game if they don't really wanna move to Black Ops 4. But regardless, look out for an event. That's the big thing here to take away from this. On Tuesday, perhaps, Maybe later, but I'm gonna once again guess on Tuesday. But that said, that's where we're gonna wrap it up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think of this here? Is it a situation of too little too late? Are you guys excited to kind of end World War II with a bang? Are you guys happy they're putting out more content? Even though Black Ops 4 is right on the horizon, whatever it is, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Call of Duty, Black Ops 4, Blackout, Call of Duty World War II stuff. We got you covered with whatever it may be. So Hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss a single thing. If you guys also want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, a little more active over there, so that link is down there for both of those if you guys want to check that out. But that said, thanks so much for watching. Mine's an espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.